Hello everyone, welcome to episode 6 of McFizzle's Hardcore Survival World, season 8. And um, we're just going to start the episode by planting some uh, oak saplings so we can get some good old oak wood and we can get some chests. I want to expand my um, my storage area. It's getting a little bit uh, clogged so we're gonna start uh, doing that. So we've grown some trees grabbing that wood. Grabbing that wood for our chests. For our chests. Uh, you can see the uh, the expanding plains is, is, is encroaching on the uh, edge of the world, edge of the land at least. I think it'll still be a while before we have a straight sort of, you know, it's going to sort of end up being a, like a cliff, you know, sort of a small bank at the edge, you know, there's not going to be a gradient, it's going to be straight up and down like a wall. But uh, we've got some plans. We've got some plans. We can we can sort this out. It'll it'll be we should be able to get around. So we've got some wood. Yeah, you can see I'm ex extending the the storage. The plan was to have one double chest for every item in the crafting table. Uh, but uh, I've sort of abandoned that idea. I think that was a bit crazy. So we're just gonna just grab what we can and just just go the classic way of just having chests for what we need to store. Uh, we found the uh, old um, mob spawner, so we're doing a bit of work on the the XP grinder. Uh, so we're going to have to move these torches around because we're going to dig out a um, bit of this. This is where our sort of our water is going to go to move the um, the mobs to the uh, dropper so they can sort of get damaged. I'm using a design by uh, this guy called Wattles on uh, YouTube. I've tried one of his before, it didn't work so well, but this one's different, so I'm, I'm, I th I'm hoping this one works a bit better. But uh, I'm confident that it will work. It looks, it looks a bit, it looks, uh, it was just the first one I put up in YouTube. I, uh, I'll put the link in the description. Uh, I think I put it in the last episode as well. But I'll put it here again. Shout out to Waddles. And uh, yeah, so I'm, as I said before, I'm making it out of green glass because it's a zombie spawner. So it's a good green for um, zombies. I'm hoping it won't affect uh, the spawning. I don't know if light can travel in through glass or not. I don't know how the mechanics work with glass. I know you can't, mobs can't see you behind glass, so it would make sense that light can't travel through it. But we'll see. If it's if it's not, I'll just put something around the outside of it. It'll be fine. Don't worry. Okay, this is the next. Uh, I've got many projects in this world, and this is another one that's going to be take some time but I think in the end it'll be useful especially uh, if I can't find a, a um, skeleton spawner so that this is where the um, I call it the jetty of the um, where the spawner is is a, like a villager village right above it like and there's like a little jetty sort of that sort of is in the direction of my home base see there's the jetty there it's just sort of where the village pathway sort of extends out and um, yeah I've decided I want to make a make it an easier way to get to and from 
the spawner and that village so I'm going to make a, a pathway through the um, you know the landscape and come out at my base so this is the first sort of step is just sort of extending out this um, so it'll be a it'll be a waterway hopefully so it'll, I'll fill it all up with water so I can just travel there by boat and um, we'll have like underneath this is where I'm sort of putting the underneath here is going to be where underneath the hole of the giant chest is going to be like an underwater like a like a, a moor more, more. I don't know how to say that. Yeah, but it's going to be where all the boats will sort of dock underneath the the base, and so then we'll have little boats, little pathways under underground that'll send the um, allow me to travel in all sorts of different directions. So that's how the um, that's how that's going to work, but we've got to dig it all out, so it's going to take some time. But luckily, I'll just skip through as much of it as I can. Uh, so yeah, you can see that this is the um, this is the bit just near the the chest. This is where I just came down, just through there. Oh, it's night time. Better put the old bed out and have a sleep. But uh, so it's going to take some time. I think it'll look really cool when it's done. So digging, digging, digging. Lots of digging in this episode. Oh, here we go. We've come into there's a huge big chasm sort of behind where the nether portal is that I did start fencing off. And unfortunately, I was hoping that the uh, you know the the spawner path it's not going to come out in the middle of the chasm but it looks like it is so we're just going to have to put a aqueduct so to speak aqueduct the aqueduct over the uh halfway up well not halfway but in the air of the chasm i I did toy around with the idea of making it out of glass and I might even still do that um, but yeah it's a bit perilous I don't want anything to spawn and kill me but um, yeah I think it'll look good when it's done if I don't get if I don't kill myself <laughs> while I'm making it so yeah, it's a, it's we, the progress is being made. It's, it's a very time-consuming digging, but you know, if you watch my, th you don't mind. I don't mind. You know, I don't mind doing some digging. Um, all right. So this is the progress we we've made so far. Um, we've widened the. Um, the pathway because it'll it sort of has to be extra wide because it's on a diagonal and eventually it'll all be I'm doing stone brick which is how I usually do my aqueducts all right what's up here okay we've dug the so that's where I come down from the corner of the giant chest and this is where I'm sort of extending it into underneath the giant chest and I'm starting to put the aqueduct not the aqueduct but the you know the the base of operations is going to be down in here I need to sort of go into uh, the chest and dig down a little bit so I can um, just get the coordinates right so we're going to just put, we eventually just have some water elevators to and from the little boat hub, the docks. That's what's a better word, docks. That's a much better word than more. You know what I'm talking about. 
So we're just going to sand pole down here. Why isn't the sand coming up? Oh, there's a torch down there. A dewey. And so we're going to put some more sand. We're out of sand. Let's just jump down here. Alright, and uh, that's the bottom of the chest, it looks like. Yep, alright, so that's the edge of the giant chest above me. So we might as well just dig out everything underneath the chest. I think that's a good idea, so we'll start digging. So we're going to have a lot of um, a lot of blocks to move around. So I'm trying to use all the blocks. So we'll extend this out this way. Okay, I think we're getting close now. Yes. All right. So this is the we've done a whole. We've done the perimeter of the box, and now we're just going to dig it all out. Told you there's going to be some digging in this episode. Dig, 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 dig. But yeah, all of this. Uh, luckily, I can use all this dirt to extend the extend the flatness around the the giant chest so I can see mobs further away I can see them the better as far as I'm concerned so we'll keep going it's gonna take a while all right that's the progress we've made so far still only so you can see the roof of the the roof of this room is the floor of the giant chest above Just going to make sure we keep the area lit up. So I try and keep every. I try and just place torches every five blocks in each direction. I find that's just enough to uh, keep the mobs at bay to to encourage them not to spawn. So that's we do not want mobs spawning while we're doing our work. That's just. Especially in hard hardcore, you don't just don't like mobs. So, all right, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, it looks looking good. We'll put a torch there. We can hear some of the dogs. Yeah, I don't know if anybody knows, but I tend to play these episodes while I'm I'm listening to music. Uh, on so I'm not um, actually listening to any of the sounds. So when I come back and do the voiceover, I often hear these sounds that I don't usually hear when I'm playing. So, all right, we've dug out one level, and now we're just going to keep going down until we get to the same. Um, uh, what's the coordinate? Y coordinate as the tunnel that we started earlier in the episode. So we. And I just have to keep digging all this out. So it's going to be a huge big room. That'll be, uh, yeah, the docks. It'll be all murky and uh, moldy and, and stuff under here. Mossy. Alright, inventory is full. So we might just. I'll just put some more dirt out and put the dirt back out. Because I'm, um, yeah, I need, I like having all of these. <laughs> I need all my blocks for the extension of the, the great flatness. I often wonder why I just didn't start this as a, uh, as a super flat world. You know, I would have saved myself a lot of digging. But, you know, that's what I do in these hardcore survival worlds. I just do these uh, crazy projects that keep me amused while I'm uh, doing this. All right, so you can see this is where the flatness is extended to, and we've got to this point here, which is which I was sort of curious to see what would happen when I would have to raise the f the level of the the pens. 
So we've um, just going to go around, just put an extra block on top of all of the extra fence around the top, and then dig out the the block, you know, the bottom fence, and just put dirt there. So hopefully we won't lose any sheep. We don't want the sheep to escape and fall. Uh, but so far the sheep have been cooperating. Uh, they just sort of get in the way a bit. But, you know, what are you going to do? They're sheep. They're just trying to... I sort of feel like the sheep are always trying to escape. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I guess it's not natural for animals to be locked up in cages and pens. They would rather be out and about doing their thing. Okay, so we've getting to we can level lift up this uh, pathway, but we're going to have to dig out the. Okay, we've got our gates. We can dig out the the, the bottom layer of the dirt. So I just want one layer of uh, dirt for the pathway pathway bridges. So we'll just dig that. Just drops down into the moats down the bottom. So that's where the you know, um, if I want to head off in that direction, you know, that's be that'll be where the boat, you know, that'll connect to the docks eventually. Okay, I think that's bits done. Move that along. Get rid of those. Oh. So yeah, everything falls down here. And I'm thinking eventually these little islands are gonna go all the way down. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna need some uh underwater breathing, so eventually yeah, I'm gonna use all these things, you know, probably in the nether, I would say I'm gonna use a lot of those blocks, cobble and whatnot. Okay, so the we're getting there towards the end here. Let's see if we can get these sheep off that bottom part. Have we got some wheat on us? Yep. All right, come here, sheep. Let's get rid of these and put the dirt in there. Oh, you little rotten sheep, come over here. Come over here. Okay, get the dirt in. Got some more dirt. This grass will all grow back. Come here, sheep. Come here, little sheepies. Come here. All right. All right, so we've finished the sheep pen. Uh, elevation. Sheep out of the way, and we just finished this pathway, and we're done. Awesome. It wasn't as uh, it didn't. It's a little bit, a uh, um, little bit of work involved, but ultimately not too bad. I think it looks better having it all on the all on the level. This is how we get use up all of our dirt that we dig up underneath the chest is extending the flat and li lifting the the pens up a block or two. And we'll be up to the cows eventually. Yeah, it didn't work. It didn't work pretty well, I think. It wasn't too hard. We didn't have any sheep escape. So yeah, this is what I've been doing basically around the whole uh, chest, just d extending that s square one block at a time around there, just as I get the dirt doing that. Anyway, I think that'll do for this episode. Thanks everyone for watching. Uh, give us a like and a subscribe. Leave a comment. Give it a notification if you want. Throw us a sub. Thanks everyone.
yeah, I guess I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.